Hi, my name is Stephanie and I'm autistic, so I thought I'd have a little bit of fun on day two of World Autism Awareness Week and answer some of the most googled questions about autism. Unfortunately, I'm not fancy like some people and don't have like the cool board to peel off of, but just hang in there with me, okay? Is autism a disease? No. So some people and entities do classify it as a disorder or a disability, but it is not a disease. Is autism capitalized? No. Is autism a disability? According to the CDC, yes. However, to many people who are actually on the spectrum, no. Is autism a personality disorder? No, I think our personalities are just fine. <laughs> is autism a genetic disorder? Not necessarily, but it does have some hereditary factors. What is autism caused by? Being awesome. Actually, no one's actually really sure what exactly causes autism. A lot of people think that a lot of different things like come together or can influence whether you have autism or not. So no one's 100% sure. But one thing I can tell you is, it's not vaccines, bro. What is Autism Speaks? Well, basically it is an organization that a lot of people on the spectrum feel doesn't listen to actual voices of autism, if that makes sense. I'm actually planning on doing a video on Autism Speaks, not this week, but if you're interested in that in the future, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because I'll go in more in depth another time. What is Autism Spectrum Disorder? Hey, I answered that one in the last video, so just when you're done with this one, check out yesterday's. What does autism look like? Like this? Or this? Or maybe this? What is autism like or what does it feel like? You know, I've never <laughs> really been asked that question before. I, I don't know. For me, it's just being me. But I guess from your perspective, if you're not autistic, then it involves being sensitive to things more than other people or being able to just get lost in your own world more frequently and it's pretty cool here by the way not really having that natural ability to socialize and understand all the social cues that you probably take for granted those sorts of things characterize what it's like to experience having autism, I guess. I hope that helps answer your question. What does autism mean? So I took this as what does like the word itself mean? And it comes from the Greek autos, meaning self. And in the way that it was being used, it means more like isolated self. How does autism work? Yeah, the jury's still out on that one. <laughs> we need a lot more research. We're still trying to figure that out. How does autism affect the brain? Well, this one's a good question, and it's something that people have been researching for quite a while now. Um, in one study in 2018, they found that the connections between brain cells last longer in people with autistic brains than people with non-autistic brains. And in a 2014 study, they found that children with autism have more synapses in their brain than they need. So those are a few examples of how our brain might be working as an autistic brain. However, we're still working on finding out more about that. How does autism affect learning? Well, in quite a few ways, just like anyone who learns differently than what is being taught, it's gonna be kind of difficult to understand concepts taught to you in a way that is not conducive with the way that you learn. So a lot of people with autism face that problem and then also a lot of sensory issues can happen that would you know, cause an overload that would not help with the whole learning process. <laughs> and also the idea of directing attention, that also is difficult. But I will say, when an autistic person is interested in something, you better believe they're gonna find out all about it. How autism freed me to be myself. I'm wondering if this isn't like a book or an article or something, I don't know. But I will say, Finding out about autism and how it affects me personally has definitely helped me to accept things that I rejected about myself or things that I hid about myself because it just didn't make sense in the way that the world was supposed to make sense. So if you actually want to know how an autism diagnosis helped me, I'll link you to that. Autism was first discovered and named by, well, technically the term autism, I'm not gonna say that, autism was discovered by because we're still working on understanding autism in general, but the term autism was first 
spoken or coined by someone named Eugene Bleuler. I'm probably saying that completely wrong. He was a Swiss psychiatrist. Can autism be cured? No. Can autism be prevented? No. Whoa. Should it be? Can autism get worse? Kind of, yeah. Um, <laughs> and by getting worse, we're talking symptoms here that we don't necessarily enjoy. So that might be overload or stuff like that. And I think that's more that it presents itself as a challenge more than it used to. I think, you know, as being 24 now, I think I have trouble with things more than I did when I was younger, but it's also possible that I'm also under a lot more stress than say when I was 10, right? So a lot of people do experience the negative effects of autism, the things that aren't so pretty and aren't so great, more pervasively as they get older. But again, that might also be because one, they're changing and they have like different hormones and they have different things to deal with and stuff like that. So in a sense, can it get worse? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> can autism be passed down? I would say yes, because when asking about autism, they will ask you if you have a family history. And I also do suspect a particular link in how I have autism. So yes, there is a hereditary factor to autism. Can autism go away? No. Why is autism on the rise? You get to wait till later this week. I will answer that question for you. So make sure you subscribe. Why autism is important? Well, a lot of us have it, so it's kind of important to know about. <laughs> and also we have a unique perspective that we could share with you. Why autism awareness is important. So less people can act like jerks and more people can be more aware and accepting and understanding. Why the autism puzzle piece? So apparently there was a member on the board of the National Autistic Society who was able to come up with this and the board at the time found autism to be a puzzling thing. So also it wasn't a symbol that was already taken. <laughs> so our symbol became the puzzle piece. Why autism is a gift? Well, that's kind of a subjective thing. Some people do find it to be a gift and some people not so much. So in the words of Monk, it's a gift and a curse. When did autism become a thing? since always, <laughs> but our understanding and definition of what autism is has been changing and evolving for quite some time now, and it still is. So hopefully this video answered some of your questions if you're one of the people Googling those. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you have more questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments below. If I get enough of them, maybe I can do another video sometime answering those. Also, I hope that you'll be keeping up with me this week during World Autism Awareness Week. I'm going to be doing videos Monday through Friday, so don't miss out, okay? It's gonna be a fun ride. I hope you're having a wonderful week and see me in tomorrow's video. Bye.